الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madani Channel, welcome and مرحبا to another episode of this beautiful series the blessed seerah of beloved Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where we discuss the biography of our aqa wa mawla rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam subhanallah and it serves as a means of our inspiration inshallah we draw inspiration from the mubarak lifestyle of the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let's refresh our iman by the recitation of durood and salam in the court of the beloved nabi Sallallahu alayhi wasallam for he has stated that the one closest to me on the day of judgment will be the one who has recited the most durood upon me in the world. So let's recite together. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'ina wa sallam. Inshallah dear viewers in today's episode we are going to be discussing the attributes, the physical attributes of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and subhanallah from head to toe he is the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the nur, nurani personality for whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the ayahs of the Holy Quran he has mentioned that a poet very beautifully has said with regards to the personality and the beauty of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create an equal to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I know that he shall never do either Allah subhanallah and it is mentioned in Hayatul Haywan by Imam Damiri rahmatullahi ta'ala Ali. and uh, who doesn't know about the poet of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sayyidina Hassan ibn Sabit radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the distinguished companion and the poet in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has beautifully expressed the prophetic beauty in his Qasida uh, Hamziya and thus he has stated that wa ahsana minka lam taraqattu aini wa ajmala minka lam talidin nisa meaning more excellent than you ya Rasulullah my eyes have never seen and more beautiful than you, no woman ever gave birth to. Subhanallah. Such profound words with regards to the beauty of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And then he further says that خُلِقْتَ مُبَرَّأً مِنْ كُلِّ That you have been created free from all blemishes and imperfections. كَأَنَّكَ قَدْ خُلِقْتَ كَمَا تَشَاءُ As though you were created just the way you desired. Allah Allah. These are the words of the Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Sayyidina Hassan ibn Sabit radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Imam Busiri rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, he says that peerless, his beauty has no rival. He says, for in him is the undivided essence of all beauty. Allahu Akbar. These are the words of Imam Busiri rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi expressing the beauty of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa and it is the belief of the entire ummah that the beauty and the perfect form of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is unmatched. The scholars of hadith and compilers of prophetic biography meaning the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa have transmitted the perfection and beauty of each and every body part of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa in minute detail through a rigorously authenticated narrations and some of which are, are detailed in, in the books of a hadith and, and inshallah we will narrate a few of them for the sake of barakah that uh, Imam Busiri rahmatullahi just as we heard his praises in the, in the court of Rasulullah so some, all these praises are derived from the barakah hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with regards to the shama'il the bodily description of the beloved nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam regarding his stature his mubarak body 
Sayyidina Abu Hurair radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa body was radiant as if it had been fashioned from silver. Allahu Akbar. Sayyidina Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he states that the blessed body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was extremely soft and delicate. I felt no silk or brocade softer than the palms of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No have I smelt perfume more delightful than the perspiration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. This was the beauty of the Mubarak body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described by the Sahaba of Rasulullah. Sayyidina Kaab ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala no, he says that when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was happy, his face would shine so radiantly as if it was a piece of the moon and his happiness would be apparent on his face, subhanallah. The beads of perspiration on his blessed face were like pearls and more pleasant in scent than the most delightful musk, Allahu Akbar. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa sallam. Dear viewers, Sayyida Umm Sulaim, the mother of Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, she would spread a, a leather mat for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to take a siesta and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would perspire much and Sayyida Umm Sulaim radiallahu ta'ala anha would gather his perspiration in a glass bottle. She would then add it to her perfume. Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik dear viewers, he radiallahu ta'ala instructed in his world, in his wasiyah, that the only perfume to be applied to his body and burial shroud, meaning kafan, should be the perfume to which the perspiration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam had been added to. Allah. This was the love and devotion of the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi how they treasured each and every thing that was connected to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and they would gain barakah from it. This was the fragrance of the Mubarak perspiration of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did not possess a shadow. Do we know that? Our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a shadowless prophet, Allahu Akbar. Hakim al-Tirmizi, he narrates in Nawadrul Usul on the authority of Sayyidina Zakwan radiallahu ta'ala who relates that the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not cast a shadow neither in sunlight nor in moonlight. Allah Allah. And another Imam of the Hadith, he says that this meaning the blessed body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not casting a shadow is from the exclusive attributes of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was light. His shadow was not seen either in sunlight or moonlight. Allahu Akbar. Some scholars, they cite the hadith wherein Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make every part of his body nur, meaning light, and as a proof for him not possessing a shadow. The concluding words of the hadith are that our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam supplicated, Wajalni nura, O Allah, make me light. Subhanallah. When it is evident that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is nur, is light from head to toe, then how would his blessed body cast a shadow? Because light doesn't have a shadow. Similarly, uh, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mubarak radiallahu ta'ala as well as Imam ibn Jawzi, cite with reference to Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma who narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa did not possess a shadow. Subhanallah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he had second to none, Allahu Akbar. And the shair very beautifully says that tarikh agar dhundegi thani ye Muhammad thani to badi cheez hai saya na milega. If history searched every way for a match to Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa a match is a very big thing to ask. Not even a shadow of him will be found. Subhanallah. Imam Fakhruddin Razi rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi and Shaykh Hijazi and other scholars as well, they state that never once did a fly sit on the clothes of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa let alone his blessed body. 
Allah Akbar. No lies were f ever fell onto the blessed clothes and neither was he ever bitten by a mosquito or bed bug. Allah Akbar. He was free from all these things. Allah Akbar. Meaning no fly ever sat on the Mubarak clothes of Rasulullah even on his clothes, let alone on his Mubarak body. Allah Akbar. Because no filth will ever go on the Mubarak body of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala, he narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was neither excessively tall nor was he short. His bodily stature, his height, Allahu Akbar, but he was of medium height. His blessed body was the perfection of beauty. And when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would walk, he would lean forward slightly, subhanallah. Similarly, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala, he narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was neither excessively tall, nor was he short. His head was large and magnificent. And when he sallallahu alayhi wa would walk, he would lean forward slightly, such that it would appear that he sallallahu alayhi wa was descending from an elevated plain. I did not see his like neither before him nor after him. Subhanallah. Whoever would see the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa they would say that, that neither they had ever seen anyone like him before him, nor will they ever see anybody like him after him because he is second to none. Subhanallah. All the companions conveyed that the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was of medium height. It was a miracle of his that in spite of this, he sallallahu alayhi wa would appear the tallest even in the gathering of thousands. Allah, Allah, Allah subhanallah. Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he mentions about his bodily stature so beautiful in his world famous salam that qadde be saya ke saya e marhamat zille mamdu de rafat pe lakho salam. Ta iran e qudus jiski hai kumriya ussahi sarwe qamat pe lakho salam. Allahu Akbar. Meaning the shadow of a mercy of his shadowless stature. Countless salutations upon that exalted and extended kindly shadow. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he states that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, his head was large and magnificent, just as we learnt. And Sayyidi Ala Hazrat then says, Jiske aage sare sarwara khamrahe us sare taaje rifat pe lakho salam. The heads of the rulers remained bowed before it. Countless salutations upon the crown on his towering head. Allahu Akbar. Now the Mubarak hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa thousands of uh, devotees of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa around the world have this beautiful gift as we learnt during the Hajjat al-Wada. During the 10th year after Hijrah, as we learned in this series, that the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when his head was shaven on the occasion of Hajj, Hajjat al Wada, it was distributed as a gift among all the participants that were present there. And this is how the, the Mubarak hair of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reached far and wide throughout the corners of the world. Allahu Akbar. And do we know the, the significance of the Mubarak hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Each and every body part of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa is a means of barakah for the believers. As it is mentioned that uh, Sayyidina Amir Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, a great sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he left a will before he passed away that uh, the Mubarak shirt of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa must become his shroud, his coffin, and the Mubarak nails of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam would be placed upon his eyes and his mouth. Allah Allah. Such was the devotion of the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu with regards to the, the body parts of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi Anything that belonged to the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Subhanallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. it is mentioned that he had beautiful wavy hair that was neither excessively curly nor completely straight. Allah Allah. Initially, the blessed hair of Rasulullah sallallahu would reach the earlobes and later on, the locks of hair would reach 
his blessed shoulders, subhanallah. On the occasion of Hajjatul Wada, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa had his hair shaven and Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, Akhir Hajj, Ghame Ummat me Parishan ho kar, Tira Bakhto ki Shafaat ko Sidhare Gesu. This was the beauty of the hair of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa described by Sayyidi Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala anhu about his hair. He mentioned his beautiful salam that uh, Laylatul Qadr me Matlahil Fajr haq. Mang ki istiqamat pe laakho salam, subhanallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is mentioned that he would frequently apply oil to his blessed hair and would sometimes comb it, parting his hair in the middle during his latter years, subhanallah. The hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's blessed head and beard was black. There were fewer than 20 gray hairs in total when he uh, returned to his Lord, meaning in his final ages, subhanAllah. And it is mentioned in Shamail al-Tirbizi Sharif. After having shaven his Mubarak head during Hajjatul Wada, Rasulullah sallallahu blessed hair was distributed among the companions as a means of uh, deriving blessings. Tabarruk, Allahu Akbar. The companions preserved and protected it more than their own lives, subhanAllah. And in today's time, we, we see the blessings of the Mubarak hair of Rasulullah Sallam. Those who are in possession of the beautiful hair of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they preserve it with utmost love, reverence and respect and show the, the devotion in the court of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and hold the gathering of displaying the Baal Mubarak of Rasulullah Sallam, the hair Mubarak of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, reciting Salat and Salam around it standing respectfully all this time, subhanAllah. Sayyida Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala anha preserved some of the blessed strands of the hair in, in a glass bottle. Whenever someone would be afflicted by the evil eye or fell ill, she would uh, dip the bottle in water and give it to the ailing person to drink and the person would be cured by it, subhanAllah. This is the property of Shifa in the Mubarak hay of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahu Akbar. Can we describe the beauty of the Mubarak face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Listen to the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallam describing the beauty of the Mubarak face of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was a mirror of noor created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Handsome, healthy and slightly rounded, subhanAllah. Sayyidina Jabir ibn Samura radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he narrates that I once saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa on a full moon night. On that night, he sallallahu alayhi wa wore red striped clothing. At times I looked at the moon and at occasions I would look at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ultimately, I came to the conclusion that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was more handsome, beautiful, and more radiant than the full moon. Allahu Akbar, subhanallah. When Sayyidina Bara ibn Azib radiallahu ta'ala anhu was asked if the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was like a, a sword in luminosity, he replied, no. Rather, it was like the moon, Allahu Akbar. In narrating his blessed features, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala, he says that whoever saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa unexpectedly would be filled with awe and whosoever came to know him would become his true lover, Allahu Akbar. And who wouldn't fall in love with the blessed personality of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa the Noor of Allah subhanallah. Dear viewers, there is so much to discuss about the attributes of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Mubarak eyebrows of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah has said, Jinke sajde ko mehrabe kaaba juki, un bhavo ki latafat pilako salam. And about the Mubarak nose of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahu Akbar, they were proportionate and there would be a noor emanating from the bridge of the nose of Rasulullah 
صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Our beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he asked about Sayyidina Ali Radiallahu Ta'ala and the Sahaba said to him, Ya Rasulullah, he has eye ailment. And the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam placed his Mubarak saliva to his eye. And after that, the ailment was gone like it was never there. Subhanallah, this is the Mubarak miracle of the Mubarak saliva of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And there are many miracles related to the saliva of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. نو مبارک تھنگ آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آل حضرت سیز وہ زبان جس کو سب کن کی کنجی کہیں اس کی نافذ حکومت پہ لاکھو سلام تو مبارک لپس آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آل حضرت سیز دیکھ پتلی پتلی گلے قدس کی پتیاں ان لبوں کی نزاکت پہ لاکھو سلام سبحان اللہ سچ بیوٹیفل ورڈز ڈسکرائبنگ دی بیوٹی آف دی بیلوید نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور ہیز بلیسد ہینڈ اللہ اکبر آلہ حضرت رحمت اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ سیز دیٹ جس کو بار دو عالم کی پروہ نہیں ایسے بازو کی قوت پہ لاکھو سلام اس وقت سٹرنٹ آف دا آمز آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اور دن ہی سیز ہاتھ جس سمت اٹھا غنی کر دیا موج بحر سماحت پہ لاکھو سلام دا مبارک گیز آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم He says that جس طرف اٹھ گئی دم میں دم آ گیا اس نگاہ عینایت پہ لاکھو سلام سبحان اللہ and about مبارک sandals of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سبحان اللہ those sandals that we keep so near and dear to our hearts اللہ اکبر the sandals of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم are the crown of our heads of the devotees of the beloved نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سبحان اللہ dear viewers These are the attributes, the Mubarak bodily description of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his physical description and his attributes, Subhanallah. Inshallah, we will learn more in the next episode about the beautiful character of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which would inspire us as his ummah to follow into his footsteps as it is the mission of your fragrant movement of Quran and Sunnah to instill the love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam into the hearts of people, Inshallah Azza wa Jal. With this in mind, let's utter the, the mission statement of this beautiful movement of Quran and Sunnah that I must try to reform myself and the people of the entire world, inshaAllah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'ina wa sallam. Oh, mm-hmm.